We're back and tonight's show we have special guest. I would like to thank you so much, my crew member. They are so wonderful. Our director, Darren Lee, uh, Dave Murdoch, Joe Johnston, and Carlos. Thank you so much because without you, I cannot be possible making this television show. Thank you to Raleigh Television Network. Well, tonight's show we have Dr. Larry. I am so excited to have him and I would like to he introduce himself. Welcome to our show. Hey, thank you. I, I really appreciate you having me t this evening. Well, for the benefit of the audience, Dr. Larry, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, where you're from? Uh, originally from the, uh, New York City. Uh, I joined uh, the military when at a very young age, and uh, my mom is from uh, Goldsboro, North Carolina, or from, oh. uh, right outside. Uh, there's a little town called Detley, North Carolina, that she, she grew up in. So. Uh, my my parents decided to you know move back to North Carolina and uh, I traveled the world and I was in the Air Force uh, and you know just a very rewarding uh, experience for me and uh, I was able to you know achieve the highest rank uh, in, in as an enlisted person as an E9 and uh, I, after 22 years I thought it's time to come back home and um, I got five uh, I mean five uh, brothers and sisters and mm -hmm. I figured it was, it's an opportunity to, to going to business with my brother and that's what got me started uh, with, with education because I love education and I love helping people. Yes, excellent. I met uh, Dr. Larry a long time ago when he was uh, in the city of Durham providing some uh, training a long time ago and then we met again at the university and he is an excellent uh, motiva motivational person. Mm -hmm. And he inspired, you know, a lot of people. And I would like you to tell us a little bit about what exactly you do. Uh, I, I, what I try to do is to try to encourage people to uh, follow their dreams um, and, and ask a whole lot of questions. Uh, and if you continue to ask a lot of questions, you're going to get some answers and it's going to take you that much closer to achieving your goal. And uh, what I really appreciate is to, to when you're asking yourself those uh, asking those questions, you have to find out what you can control mm -hmm. and what you cannot control. Mm -hmm. And you'll be amazed at what you can control. And some of the things that you can't control, you ha you just got to go ahead and move forward with that. And uh, through that, uh, through persistence and through having patience, and then networking with people and finding people that's going to help you and encourage you, because you're going to quickly find out that. Some people uh, that you're close around mm -hmm. might, might, might not encourage you the mm -hmm. way that you need to be encouraged mm -hmm. in order to achieve your goal. That might some, they, sometimes people actually uh, laugh at, you know, hey, you want to do that? Why do mm -hmm. you want to do that? That's mm -hmm. crazy. You're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. But you have to surround yourself, and, and that's what it is. You want to try to find you some people that's going to encourage you mm -hmm. and uh, that's going to allow you to, to, to start achieving your goals. And you've got to have an action plan. Mm -hmm. You've got to write down what, what is it that you want to do, and okay. you know everybody writes lists, all right, I want to do this, but when are you going to do it, which mm -hmm. is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, and then you have somebody that's going to allow you to, co to coach you mm -hmm. so you can be, uh, stay on task and hit those timelines that you're going to hit, you'll be amazed how many things that you can achieve. Mm -hmm. And I have to use myself as an example. Uh, okay. I wanted to, uh, you know, at, when I was younger, I, mm -hmm. I was not that into school. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not, I enjoyed learning, but it just wasn't for me when I was younger. So as I became an adult, I joined the military, and then I started taking classes, and mm -hmm. then I made the decision. I want to get my, my degree. And uh, so I put my mind to it, focused on it, asked questions and find out. And all of a sudden, I was able to get my bachelor's. And right almost, as, almost at the end of my bachelor's, I was like, I want to get my master's degree. I want to get that. So I started on that without even stopping, and then um, I says, "Why not be get your PhD? You know, Dr. Larry Woods. That sounds really good." Yeah, definitely. So my wife, you know, she had to. I, I couldn't have done it without her. You know, she was my That's support awesome. system. You know, I have three kids, and it's just so uh, uh, hard to be able to, you know, juggle working mm -hmm. as a working adult and then g getting good grades because I wanted to, you know. Uh, if I'm going to do it, I want to learn something and be able to uh, do something with it. So about two months ago, I was able to get my PhD. Yeah, and uh, congratulations. It's been, it's been a journey. Uh,